I really appreciate interesting takes on albums, uh, especially things like soundtracks that are done really well or compilation albums, again, that are done really well. Found one recently that kind of caught my attention. Didn't know much about it, so dug in a little bit and decided, you know what? I need to check this album out. I'm Tim Oates on bass, and I'm going to dive into Dark Knight's death metal soundtrack. Dark Knight's Death Metal is actually a comic book series. It's part of the DC line of comic books. I'm not a big comic book guy, I'll admit it, but the concept of having a soundtrack to a comic book series is really interesting. And apparently this isn't the first time they've done something like this. I just happened to stumble upon it. And since I know so little about the album, and this is literally something I stumbled upon, this album review is going to be a little different. It's going to be a little bit more fast-paced. I'm actually just going to share my raw reactions as I listen through the album and uh, not do too much analysis. If you want to follow along, I'll include the link in the description. While you're down there, you can also click on like and subscribe. Algorithm loves it. Makes me very happy. We're all winners. All right, looks like the first song is by Mastodon, Forged by Neron. Bass tone's really cool. Subtle, but it still rips through a little bit. Interesting halftime feel. What's up with this bridge? It's kind of all over the place. There's that halftime feel again. Really slows down the momentum. That was interesting. Uh, next. Next is Diana by Chelsea Wolfe. Some cool instrumentation in here. Bass and drums are pretty straightforward. Guitars are heavily processed, or there might even be some synths in there. I like the lift in the verse. Oh, it's a cool break. This song is done really well. Like, it's a good song, but it's definitely not going to get you, like, amped up. But it's very good. All right, this next one I'm really curious about. This is Anti-Life by Health and Tyler Bates featuring Chino Moreno. Oh. Starts off good. It's got this, like, strong build. Really interesting drum work. Oh. Yeah, I can get into this. Kind of like a 90s industrial sound. It almost sounds like something uh, that you might have found on the Crow soundtrack. Outro's good. Calms down, but the vocals are really strong. All right, next is Meet Me in the Fire by Maria Brink and Tyler Bates featuring Andy Beersack. So far, a lot of these songs are really similar in the way they're arranged and kind of the, the overall feel. Although... This just turned around. This song just picked up a little bit. Still a little bit of that industrial sound. More straightforward though. Maria Brink's way of singing this is pretty different from how in this moment is. The male voice I assume is Andy Beersack. He sounds really good too. I don't know much about him. Who is this guy? Oh, I'm an idiot. The lead vocalist of Black Veil Brides. In my defense, I've never really been huge into Black Veil Brides. That was a good song, that was strong. What's this? This is uh, Grey Days, Anything Anything. This is more of a kind of a punk vibe. So this is actually Chester Bennington's band before he joined Linkin Park. From what I can tell, it seems like it's pretty old and I think this is actually Chester singing Rise Against Broken Dreams Inc. Interesting. I think that started out with like a Joker line. More straightforward rock, a little bit of a, of a punk feel, but much more like pumping forward. There's a lot of vocal overdubs on here. I think they're like lines from the comics or, or cartoons or, or something. Song's really well done. I mean, and that shouldn't be a surprise. Rise Against has been around for decades. I dig that, that was, that was cool. I wonder if the vocal overlays are just for this soundtrack or if it's also the way it is in the album. Anyway, we've moved on now to Never Ending by Manchester Orchestra. This could be an interesting mix with the rest of the songs. Beginning takes a little bit to get into, but once it kicks in, it's pretty cool, very chill. It's got a very slow groove, but lots of soul. Uh, love the guitar work. Really, really, really simple. I mean, it's just a couple of notes, but they're the right notes. They're stretching out over the right amount of time. Really builds the ambiance of the song. Verse has so much space. So much space in the verse. Great harmonies. Hook's great. Wow, they're really dragging out this, this noise at the end. Dragging it out. Denzel Curry featuring Play That Boy's A. Bad luck. Scream right out of the gate. I, I understand what's going on in this song. I just can't get into it. 
All right, what's next? A skull with a forked tongue by Karach Angren. I know nothing about Karach Angren. They ain't messing around with that double bass. Black metal band from the Netherlands. Totally hear that. Oh, a lot of orchestra work in here. It's a long song. Apparently Karach Angren is derived from Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, and it means Iron Jaws in the Elvish language of Sindarin. The things you learn on Wikipedia while listening to music. That was a little much. Let's see if Starcrawler's a little bit more my speed with Good Time Girl. Oh, this is very different. Much more of a straightforward rock song. It was a hard break there. It was a long hard break there. I, I thought the song was over. This kind of sounds like whole, but if the music was interesting and the vocals were good, if that tells you anything. That was a fun song. This next one could be interesting. This is Gunship and Tyler Bates featuring Dave Lombardo. Dave Lombardo, of course, being the drummer from Slayer. And Gunship is a British synthwave band. Definitely hear the synthwave. Oh, verse is cool. I mean, still synthwave like crazy, but really cool. There's Dave Lombardo. The cadences and the vocals are really good. I love these Lombardo fills. Bridge is fire. Bridge is fire. That was cool. Very different because of the synth wave and like rock mix, but really well done. And what is this? This is Now You've Really Done It with Greg Bucciato, Tyler Bates, and Gil Sharon. This drum beat's got Groove. All right, who are these people? Greg Pucciato from the Dillinger Escape Plan, Killer Be Killed. Gil Sharon, also in the Dillinger Escape Plan, also played with Manson. And Tyler Bates has been on a number of tracks. He's actually, I think, the like main composer of this. Like, it's kind of his project. Play with Marilyn Manson for a couple of albums. So he's got a lot of stuff going on. Drumming school in this one. That's Gil Sharon. All right, what's this? This is Stone Cold Earth from Show Me the Body. I love looking up how they're how bands are described in Wikipedia and see how close they match. American hardcore punk. I hear it. Eclectic sounds. Yeah. Draws from hip hop, noise music, and sludge metal. And I could totally hear it. I, like I never would have known how to describe this. That's actually a great way. I'm okay with that song being over. Uh, this is Sodium by Idols. It's a British rock band. The song's really slow. I kind of want to like tap him on the shoulder and say you need to speed up a little bit. I kind of can't stand the lyric, tastes like metal. He's done it a few times and I'm like, eh. This guy enunciates really weird. Tastes like metal. Seriously, another song with the super long noise heavy outro. This is unnecessary. It's just noise. Listen to this. It's just noise for like 30, 40 seconds. I'm on the last song now, uh, Kissing in the Rain by Soccer Mommy. You can already tell this sounds different than anything on the album. Music's kind of like a, kind of like an upbeat. It's like clean guitar, but it's got a little bit of dirt on it. Just a little bit. Bass is cool. Really like that. Soccer Mommy was born Sophia Regina Allison. Soccer Mommy is a stage name. Good hook, chorus is good. I wanna know who the bass player is on this album. She's got a really good voice. So Sophie Allison, Soccer Mommy, may be playing bass on this. It's a very much a pop song. Like, uh, it's good, it's really well done. She's very talented, really good songwriting. It's not heavy at all. All right, that's... Uh, that was an interesting journey. I mean, that was all over the place. Quite the compilation, very interesting idea. Um, I can hear how the songs relate uh, into a similar theme without knowing the story uh, of the comic. It would be hard to kind of piece that together. I'm always for taking the time to check out an album once, check out some songs once. It's worse it can happen. You end up liking something? I don't know. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me some comments. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what else you want to see me uh, review. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. Like the video. All the YouTube stuff. You keep making beautiful music. And I'll see you in the next one.